global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Yes, for Barra and River State, this uh, this time around, it looks like uh, the monarchs and the people who are strong loyalists of Wiki have decided to plot a plan. The question now is how will Fubara react? We're going to find out in a moment. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You set by notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified since so update our channel on YouTube. Now, the political crisis in River State has taken a fresh turn in entirely as the paramount ruler of Emwahia, Emwahia kingdom his majesty sir honor sergeant i would say has declared his palace off limits to anyone that that's not that's not supporting the minister of fct that's yes on wiki report has it that i would say he's a chieftain of the people's democratic party pdp hmm. and the former governorship candidate of the party the monarch made the declaration in a video recorded where, in his palace, of course, instructing his subject to support Wiki and warning those who don't, who don't to stay away from his palace. Now, supporters of Governor Similar Fobara have condemned the monarch's actions, labeling him as a partisan monarch who is threatening his people because of his loyalty to Wiki. Now, they argue that the traditional institution should remain non-political and non-partisan, serving as a unifying force for all people. Now, Prince Charles E. O. Beke, JP, leader of Fubara supporters in Emoha, said that the declaration by the monarch is a recipe for disaster and a bad development that could create crisis in Emoha. Now, Beke, in a statement, he said, and I quote him word for word, with all due respect to his majesty, this declaration is unfortunate and a clear recipe for disaster. All over the world, the traditional institution act as the central pital force with unity, which unity and and which brings the people together despite their perceived differences. Now, the institution is both non-political and non-partisan. The palace of the paramount ruler is the home of all subjects. Thus, the declaration of non-supporters of Wiki in Emoha is a persona non grata to his palace, is a bad development. He added, we have utmost respect for traditional stool of Omaha Kingdom, and we will not denigrate that institution by smearing it with politics. His Majesty, Sir, Honor, Sergeant, I will say, DSSRS, is at liberty to descend into the political arena and take sides if he so wishes, but he cannot dictate to the people where their own loyalty should lie. Members of this simplified movement in Omoha will neither be intimidated nor blackmailed into abandoning the righteous cause of supporting the governor that all of us took pains to vote for just a year ago. That we are able to distinguish between our political loyalty and our obligations to the traditional stool of Omoha, we will never merge both nor allow anyone to use that tool to dictate our political conduct. Those are the words of um, the chairman. You know, uh, the president of Simfobara was wise enough to have brought in um, a lot of his, um, a lot of CTC chairmen, even though there was no election then, and they were able, really, they were able to, you know, go grassroots. But a lot of Nigerians, my colleagues in the house, a lot of Nigerians are wondering, why would they, uh, the, the monarch you know, stoop so low. That, that seat ought to be very apolitical, so ought to be non-partisan. In fact, the fact that it's even a cat kai member of PDP speaks volumes. What's your take on this latest development that's going on in, in Rivers? We're a monarch now. He obviously has seen what is going on around and said to say, look, I don't want to say anything. And I don't want to see anything like simplified movement. All I want to hear is wiki. What's your take, please? Well, like you rightly pointed out, uh, a monarch is supposed to be a political when it comes to the issue of politics. Secondly, he's supposed to be in charge of the, his most important um, purpose should be 
for him to take care of the well-being of the people, the community, and the likes, ensuring that their people are protected. He will, he's meant to be um, number one person liaising with the government in respect to the development of the area. He's like a gatekeeper. And being a gatekeeper, you're not supposed to meddle into anything politics, you know. But with this level of development, I think that's a breach to his office. And uh, if Ubara really wants to dive into this issue, uh, he, he should inform the traditional council of the state. Those, the person who is the head, need, as a noun, needs to dive into that issue and possibly suspend him because uh, with what we are seeing, he's trying to stay there and start influencing things politically, which also means yeah. that no matter what uh, Fubara does, he will never uh, value it. He will never, somehow he's going to stand as a wager or uh, a resistance to Fubara's, Fubara's invasion of the area. You understand? He's going to stand there to stop him from doing anything for the betterment of the people. And, and, and for me, it's absolutely wrong. It's totally wrong. He should be dealt with and should be kept away. He should do you think, in all honesty, that if Fubara tries to suspend or reach out to the head of the monarchs, quote unquote, the council of uh, monarchs, and they decide to, like, okay, since he's going a uh, very partisan and is going very political, which he ought to remain neutral, don't you think that uh, Yeso Wike would probably use it as an edge to now come in and, you know, look for another total battle? You know, if you watch Fubara's play, he has been. Totally being on the defensive, avoiding any kind of altercation with Wiki. Don't you think that alone would have been another role through which Wiki would probably come against Fubara? Well, for me, I think that with that happening made public, or that statement of that uh, made public, I, I think that uh, it is a place of the traditional council, the head of the traditional council, to call him, summon him immediately. And if he refuses to uh, be someone, declines it, they will suspend him and possibly strip him of that office. It's the office not given to him because of anything. It, it all all the monarchs they are responsible to the governor of the state. All of them are. Let me use that word. Answerable to the governor of the state. The governor of the state. They don't exist in isolation. We saw what happened in uh, Kanu State. When this guy, the new NNPP guy, decided to kick the uh, the Emir of Kano out, who stopped him? Nobody stopped him because he, all of them are answerable to him. And automatically, you understand? And that's exactly that what I expect Fubara to do at this point. He shouldn't. That, that's some high level of uh, disregard, you know, towards him as the governor of the state. So, ideally, I, I think he should, uh, the, the head of the traditional council of River State should immediately summon the young man who had made such an uh, audacious statement and ensure that disciplinary action is taken against him. And if it gets out of hand, you strip him of the position. The, the governor no, will bring in another person speedily. You know, it's not something that they play game. We, we watch it happen. Sultan also go to at a point they were scared of it because the governor is the one in charge of traditional council. So whether you like it or not, if you don't align to what he wants you to do automatically, he can deal with you and kick you out. I can assure you that someone like Fuba, like Wiki will not for one day tolerate anything. You know, he would not tolerate that nonsense from any, you know, uh, monarch. So, for me, I, I think that uh, Fubara should do what he's supposed to do in his office. It, it, all of them are, you know, answerable to him. And he should respond immediately. But let's just hope that uh, Wiki will not come up with a nice policy. Where... Wiki has no power. You know, people don't understand what it means to be a governor. A governor is... The, like the like like the president of the state and being the I president of the go. state he has full right you know to do whatever he wants to do so I, that's just it agreeable but i still believe that um, we can have a strong stake how do i mean being the fact that um he's very close to the corridor of power what did it take him for him to change the autonomy of local government chairman it didn't take him anything he could actually work the, on the autonomy also of the monarch so that they can have their way and their say okay let him begin the, the process but before he start beginning because it's not going to affect just him alone. It's going to affect 
everybody because whatever you're going to bring in is not going to be just for River State. Yeah, but it's affecting even so local it, government, it, it, it's affecting it, it, everybody. The well. local government is a different ball game. Even till now, they are still sitting on that case and trying to see how it can be resolved because federalism that we practice is totally against it. No matter what, the local government area somehow they work hand in hand with the state government. So it it we don't know what Supreme Court did there, but however it's been done. But the issue of traditional council cannot be alienated from. They cannot exist in isolation. You understand? They are answerable. The governor is the one that pays them. The governor is the one that does everything. So he can wake up now and decide to kick me out of that position and then, you know, restore peace back to that community because that community belongs to the governor. It does not belong to that, that young man there. So which means by the time the autonomy of the local government chairman comes in, they may be answerable to the local government chairman. They then. cannot be answerable. Traditional council are not answerable to the local government. They are answerable to the governor. The governor is the one in charge. You understand? All right, let's go wrap it up. Let's be sit down and come back to show us a take. Have a nice time. Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global.